Okay guys, welcome back to our car modeling tutorial here. What we're going to be doing today is continuing with our Lamborghini Huracan model. Now, um, in between episodes here, I've just added a little bit of depth to the bottom so we can start to see the under section of the car as well. It's going to give us an idea of how the car is looking, which so far it's looking pretty good. So, what we're going to be doing in this episode here is working our way back down with the roof, hopefully to the very end, and then hopefully we're actually going to get cracking on the rear section of the car as well. So first things first, what we'll need to do is have a quick squint at our reference image here. So what we're going to be doing just now is working our way down this section of the roof here, working down here, maybe even bridge the gap across there, and then we're going to be looking on the rear section of the car just above the diffuser here before taking our arch to meet our door section. So we're fairly close now as it stands with the actual main basic mesh for this model. So what we're going to do first is, like I said, work down the roof of the car here. So if we go into our top orthographic view, and we'll have a look at what we're working with. So it looks like, first things first, is this whole section here needs to run all the way down to this rear section here. You can see this crease um, coming down here. And this section here needs to be extended slightly just along here before we get to the glass section on the back. So if we just double check here we can see all the way from this very point there we need to take that down. So if we jump back in here it looks like what we're going to be wanting to do is go from this edge here So this edge, outside edge here. So we're going to be going from taking this line and all this section down as well. So what we're going to do is we will extrude all of these edge sections here. So we've talked about extruding already in previous episodes. So we're going to hit Control e after selecting these edges. And then this is going to allow us to push down to the next section here. And then we can line that up nicely in our side view as well. Okay. So we can see here this is a little bit too high so if, whilst we're here we'll take that down just a little bit. Okay, looking good. So what we're going to do here then is we're going to align our vertices to the correct sections there. Okay, so we can see that we'll need to add in a cut in there at some point. And then we'll bring these sections down here. Okay, so we'll see how that sits there, just like that. So we'll maybe have to bring these back a little bit there. And again, we need to go on the outside of that line there so we can use it for our cut. And then what we'll do is we'll just simply drag these sections down here to match the corresponding sections. Okay. And I think we may need to quite see an edge on this side here. We'll drop it down just for now. We'll bring this one down a little bit with it. Just to get a little bit of curvature there because we never want to have that edge too flat. Okay. It's looking pretty good. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this section here all the way down. Yes. Okay, we'll take this section here all the way down. So we're going to use the edges here, and we're going to take these two down to the very edge of this section. And we'll bring that roughly down to where it should sit here. Okay, so we've got that back section in place there. So what we'll do is we'll pull these vertices slightly. Uh, 
terms of saying how we want them to. And again, we'll add some detail in between here afterwards. So I think what we'll need to do here is, as it's fairly unclear, I think that edge actually may run all the way up here. So we'll put that in place just now and then we can adjust that later should we need to. Good. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we are now going to have a look at maybe bringing this down to meet this edge just here. So in order to do that, what we'll do is we'll extrude down on this section here. We can bring this all the way down. And again, we'll add a, add a little bit more detail to this after. It's important to get our points in place first. Yeah. Perfect. And then it's essentially going to be a case now of bringing this section, extruding again this edge, and we'll bring this all the way down here. And we'll hold down V in order to merge that there. I'm going to edit mesh and merge, and then we're going to bring this down here to the edge of the crease, just there. Cool. So that's looking roughly how it should just there. If we double check our vertical view, bring that down just a little bit. Good. Okay, that's looking good there. So we're going to leave that section virtually low poly just now. So we're not going to add too much to that. The reason we're going to do that is because we want to make sure that our arch here is going to allow us to directly facilitate the amount of geometry that we have in here. So first, thing, first things first is we'll start going around the back of the bumper. Then we'll know if we need to add any more to these edges here before we actually continue any further. So we'll drag this out here. So in order to get the shape of this um, wheel arch, what we're going to need to do is use the back orthographic view. So inside our views here, what we can do is we can go to panels, orthographic, and then we can hit back one here. And that's going to bring in our back section. So we can see inside here, see inside here our model and we can see kind of we've got this front section here which we can ignore just now but we can kind of see that the arch on this back section here does in fact smooth in ever so slightly So we'll select that here. And we're just going to pull that point in. To match. It looks like we need the top one as well. Now, just for good measure, we'll add a little bit of a curve to this one, just to try and make that as smooth as possible. Okay. 
Oops. So that's looking good just there. So we can see that this next section here is actually part of the diffuser, which we're not going to be working on just yet. So what we're going to do is we'll bring this up to sit roughly as the diffuser does there. And then that will allow us to position this in our side view here. So what we wanting to do here then is we are wanting to firstly think about the mesh that is required for this section here just above the diffuser. Think about what will be required for the diffuser as well. But also consider what mesh we already have in this section here in order to bring this to meet perfectly with this section here. So first things first we can see that we have one, two sections. Now we're not going to count this one because this space is going to go inside the air intake on the side here. So essentially what we're going to have which comes over this section is we're going to have this underneath bit, we're going to have this front facing section here and this front facing section here which is going to go inside. So in theory all we really need on this section of the wheel arch is two bits that we already have. So what we're going to do with our first one here is we're going to bring that into place just above the skirt which facilitates the intake. We're going to bring this one down into place here so we can see that that's going to look good because it's a fairly straight edge as we go down which will allow us then to bring this in here. If I can get that in. And then we will bring this section in as well. Cool. Now we're going to want to bring all of these bits out. So what we're going to do is select all of these sections here. And we're just going to extrude until it's roughly taken over the arch there. And now we can finalize these movements inside here. And try our best to maintain the curvature that we have. Okay, so that's looking fairly good there. <clears throat> cool. So in our 3D view here now we can see that that's all kind of gone slightly misshapen. So we can bring that out a little bit here again. We're going to be messing with that section in a slightly later episode. Yep. And then if we look at our reference images here, we should have a good idea. So we can see that this comes down here almost incredibly straight there. Maybe we come in slightly at the bottom. So this section here, we will move in here. Maybe take this bit in as well. And then we know that this section here actually goes practically underneath there. Okay, so we have our section here. We don't need to worry about this one as it will be going underneath, and so will this one. So that means that we have one, two, three, four, five edges here. These what this edge is probably gonna run up here, so that's not gonna be too much of an issue. This edge will probably run to meet this section here. 
So that means that we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So we just need to add one more edge loop inside here. So that'll allow us to put a little bit more space between these sections here. Go away, Windows. Bring this down here. And then. Use our insert edge loop here to move this slightly out. So it looks like we probably should bring these closer together as we're not getting too good a curvature here just now. We can bring that down. So that means that these sections here, one, two, three, four, is going to meet one, two, three, four. And then our sections here, this one's going to run all the way up here, and then this one is going to end up meeting the top of our archway there. This looks good. So the back section here is looking pretty good at the top. We can adjust this one slightly over here. Pull this here. That's going to mean we can run one edge here, and then we can insert another edge loop just on the line where the bumper meets the body here. Cool. Then we can take this one down which is going to meet the indicator on the side and then we'll have another edge that will go just under there. Awesome. Okay, so that's our arch there. If we check it in the uh, three pers perspective view here, it's looking pretty good. So what that's going to allow us to do now is we're going to be able to extrude around the side of the car here. So in order to do this again, we're going to need to go to our panels, orthographic and back. It's going to allow us to see our back section of the car here. Again, we're just going to make sure that everything here is looking good. Okay, that's not too bad. This in a little bit. This out just a touch. And else looks good. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to extrude along the back section of the car. Before we do that we will make sure that the side edge here So, we're going to hit the edges here, we're going to select all the faces we require to extrude. So we don't need this edge here, we're going to make sure that we go up and around there. And what we're going to do is we're going to extrude out to our first line here. So we're going to hit Control E, hit that world option, and we're going to drag this out. In our top view here we can bring it straight into position around here. We'll bring these to where they need to be. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to go all the way out. Actually, we will go all the way out first, just like we usually do.
ね。Okay, we'll see how that looks in the rear view as well. Okay, that's looking good. Just make sure this section here is matching. Perfect. And what we'll do now is we will use our mesh tools and we'll insert an edge loop and we'll drop it in this section here. Now, as soon as we've dropped it in, what we're going to do is we're just going to pull it out slightly just to give it that curvature that we're looking for all the time. And we can drag this up into position here. And we'll maybe have to round this off a little bit better and come back for the signal some other time. Okay, yeah, it's looking good to me. Maybe what we'll do with this is we'll pull it out a little bit and just check our views just to make sure it's exactly where it should be. Okay, awesome. Okay, guys, so what we'll do is we'll finish this episode here. In the next episode, we're going to continue running around the back section of the car there. Cool.